Hello everyone. My name is Shaivi Mehul Shah and I have completed my grade 12 just a few months ago and now I'm excitedly waiting for you for my university to start soon. With Clever Ed, I had done the AI crash course and now I am nearing graduation of my short yet very memorable internship conducted under the able guidance of Dr. Ken Khan and my clever mentors, especially Shivani Ma. Being a commerce student, the project that caught my eye was the AI-powered personal finance management app. So, let me give you a glimpse of the app that I have coded to the best of my ability. So this is my AI powered personal finance management app that I have coded and let me give you a glimpse of my work. So the list of contents over here are the acknowledgements, a short information about who I am, my internship journey with level so far, about the app, how do a user use the app, the demo video, and the contact details. So acknowledgements, of course, I would like to first convey my heartfelt thanks to my parents, my clever teachers, mentor Shivani Srivastava, and Dr. Ken Khan for their valuable suggestions. About me, as I have said, and I'm a very sporty person and I was interested into this course as as you see developments today have made ensured that finance and technology have also come together hence I would like to use AI into making my finance easier so my journey so far I have enjoyed the opportunity of getting a crash course in Python as well as AI and as I know that future demands a lot of skilled employers and hence I have taken this internship journey. About the app, the app AI powered personal finance app helps you manage your finances effectively so that you don't end up overspending. That is a problem that is very common in youth today. Managing your money isn't the easiest thing to do and personal Personal Finance app helps you to ensure that you do not end up overspending by giving you your credit and debit payments, giving you an income analysis and ensures that your spending remains within your budget. So let us look at how do I use the app. So what you have to do is upload an Excel that contains a budget of the different expenses that you consider important. Because as we see, personalities differ for someone. Um, education may be important. On the other hand, for another person, sports may be important. It depends on your interests. And you should input your monthly earnings. Accordingly, the app will analyze and let you know the extent of your spending and whether it is favorable or unfavorable for you. Now, the first step is just click on the pink button showed and do accordingly. That's upload your monthly expenses Excel. The second step is click on the blue button and submit to see your income analysis along with debit and credit and expense analysis. So as the output shows, there'll be a variety of output. First is a table showing you the amount, the description, the category, whether it's a debit or a credit transaction then it shows your category analysis that means it gives a sum or a, some percentage along with the total percentage of your income spendings the third is the expenses list it shows you the highest to the lowest whether you need to cut down on your expenses or not and then we have the date wise graph analysis that shows us the spendings that have been done on each date according to what has been recorded in your Excel. Then shows the debit analysis and shows the credit analysis showing you which one you should be reducing or increasing according to your credit card or 
Next comes is the app development toolkit. Um, so the element is current file of expenses that needs to be uploaded and what happens is that your data will be analyzed. Once submitted, the data is presented to the user. Now project requirements were including collecting of a data set that I had done by using a public data set as well as collecting data set from people as much as possible. Then installing the required libraries that include pandas, matplotlib, etc. And then developing the backend code, the machine learning, the front end code, doing a test analysis and debugging or ensuring that all errors are removed as much as possible. Then with the test plan, as I had showed, uploading the expenses current file, it analyzes, then it's tested whether it takes the data or not. And since it was uh, doing the work that is required, it is a pass. And similarly, it submits. Once you submit, it takes in the data, analyzes it and presents it to the user. This was the user interface being very simple. It just has two options that is uploading and submitting however it can be made greater and better for that person that is um, me um, I, you can reach out to my email in case of any concerns and this includes my social media toolkit that is the github link the linkedin link and you can follow me on all the social media platforms well, um, there is an app development toolkit that I have uploaded for your further analysis. Hello everyone, so this is my code in a personal finance management app. Um, so here is my coding as you can see. and. Over here where out is written is the output that is given to me. So this shows the category analysis as I had shown earlier. This shows the um, a segregation of data into different columns that include the date the transaction occurred, the description, the amount, the type of transaction, the category and the account name of the card with which it was paid. Then we have the category analysis that shows the percentage of uh, expenditure on difference such as credit card payment, mortgage and rent, home and improvement, utilities, restaurants, shopping, etc. Then we have is the credit analysis that include the platinum card silver card and in case ai is not sure of the answer it shows checking next we have this date analysis according to the data as you can see november 2017 this is just a sample file that i've uploaded hence the dates are really long ago and it shows the analysis accordingly. Next, we have this the income analysis and that is the debit analysis. So that is it. And if you look at the input, that is the data I have put in, as I have said earlier, it is the budget Excel file that I had put in that includes my budget in different things. And I have shown the output that I had so that is about it.